What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Monday and that means well, maybe nothing actually in FC24 this year. But let's see what EA have potentially given us or have given us that we could get that could be fun. Um, nothing new in the live or seasonal or milestones. And objectives is such a weird area for this game, isn't it? And then evolutions. Do we have something new? Let's find out. On the case, radioactive, silky center half. No new evolution either. Wow. It's not 6 p.m. Is it not 6 p.m.? It is 6 p.m. I'll back out and go back in just in case. I, like, my clock changed to 6 p.m. So unless, uh, unless my clock is wrong, you were a bit early. I mean, I, I don't think I was. I don't think I was, but yeah, like I say, my, my, my clock, my PC clock is set. It's 6.01 now. There's de no way. There's no, no guys. Okay. You guys are being morons. I wasn't early. You literally just have a delay on the stream from when I start like, yeah. Uh, oh my God. You guys, you know, it takes some time for it to get from where I am to where you are. Anyway. There is still no objectives. Good, great way for the st streams assisting me on getting this to eight minutes today, aren't they? There is still, there is still no, uh, there is still no evolution and still no objective. Surprise, surprise, because I was on time. Um, and then let's have a look at the SBCs for today. We have got nothing, nothing, nothing. Chengiz Undere. Wasn't he supposed to come last week? Five star, four star on him. All right. I don't mind a card like this. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. I don't mind a card like this. Good pace, decent shooting and passing, very nice dribbling, great stamina. Five star, four star. It's nice. His play styles are really nice. You know, quick step, rapid, technical together are brilliant. First touch plus and finesse shot plus is banging. Incisive pass on Traveller is very good. I will say it once. I will say it twice. I will say it a thousand times. This card has to just be reasonably priced because it's not a special card. Like there is a hundred to two hundred cards identical or better than this card. So in that regard, it's not special, which means the price has to reflect that, right? It's one segment. My honest opinion, an 84 rated squad, maybe with an inform, but probably not. Like, literally, yes. L like, literally, yes. This is insane. This is so much better, right? Because it's... Everyone's got an inform anyway, and then with the inform, you can put in 80s. You this is literally just a gold squad with an inform. It is absolutely perfect for how SBCs should be priced when they look like this. It is abs and let's not forget this is a live card. Let's have a look. Who have uh, who have Fenerbahce got? Um, Fener Fenerbahce have got. Olympiakos. So do you know what? Oh, it doesn't give the other information. They could very easily go through. I, f I feel like they probably should go through, actually. So he could be key for another upgrade. Um, and then who else is left in the uh, Conference League? So if they get through um, Olympiakos, they'll have Villa or Lille. So probably one advancement would be the best for him. I don't think they'll get through beyond Villa or Lille. But for an 81-rated squad with an inform, that is genuinely banging. Like, and, and like, again, I've said it once, I've said it 100 times. This is how cards should be priced when you can get Frank Lampard's brand-new icon card for 70,000 coins, when you can get Gary Lineker's 92-rated icon card for 20,000 coins. This is how it should be. This is how it should be. I'm glad they're like, I'm glad they've done that. Um, 
We've got the 88 plus campaign mix upgrade. That's not new. Neither is that. Neither is that. The 81 double upgrade is also not new. The 83 player pick is back. I like the 83 player pick. I really do. Do you know what? The, the, the general, like, the general cards, sorry, the general upgrades that they're giving, the 83 player pick, the eight, like, you know, we're getting this year, for example, we're getting either an 80 plus player pick or an 81 plus player pick for a whole week, every single week. Um, and that is just another one of those things. It's just banging, right? Um, the 83 pluses as well, I, th I think are genuinely banging. Like, you know, maybe you get unlucky in a couple of them here and there. But when I did them every day a couple of weeks ago, when they were here every day a couple of weeks ago, I got so much high-end cards out of this that it's just worth it. It's just worth it. All you need is 188 to guarantee profit. Because 188, of course, will put into the exchange and give you 27 cards back. It's cost you 22 cards to get the uh, player pick. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get an 88 every single time, but. Well, <laughs> not every time. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll quick sell recover him afterwards. The 84 by 7 is back again. The 80 plus player pick is back. I assume it's back to six players with one rare. Oops, put bronzes in it. Opposed to. Uh, opposed to. Uh, yep. Exactly the same again. So six players, six golds, I beg your pardon, and uh, one rare. And uh, yeah, I'd like, you know, the 80 plus is what it is. It would be nice now, like, you know, the the game has moved on a little bit since when these player picks come out. A one of four 80 plus now might be, might be nice. Um, Might be nice rather than one of three. But I'm... <laughs> I still, I still like it. We'll, we'll, probably, we'll quick sell recover him in a little while. Uh, what else have we got today? Nothing else there. Nothing else in upgrades. We've got UEFA marquee matchups for a mega pack. Arsenal against Byron. One Arsenal player, one Byron player. 77 rated squad for a prime mixed. Real Madrid versus Man City. One Real Madrid, one Man City player. 78 rated squad for a rare mixed players pack. The, the, the base packs aren't very good, but a mega pack... It, I mean, it's going to cost you about, what, like 6 7k to get a mega pack. And, of course, if you just uh, put untradeable cards in there, even bigger dub. Um, icons. Do we have a new icon today? Arji, Am, Chantona, Chesien, Ronaldinho, Evchenko. We don't have anything new there. Anything in exchange is a no. Anything in the store? Find out. Let's find out. Promo packs. Do you know what? The global limits packs, I literally never look at. Never look at. Promo packs. 500k pack is back. 35k coin is back. The icon pack and the six hundred, the Supreme Galazzo pack. I, I, I don't know if that Galazzo pack is getting re-upped every day or if it's still just there because I didn't open it yet. Um, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was getting re-upped every day. Uh, what I am a bit surprised about is no kind of like party bag SBC and no Evo. Wait. Did I miss? Where did this player come from? It expired in December. How do I not remember this player? It got released in December. Why is she popular now? I do not even recall that player being an SBC. Right, we have got marquee matchups. I don't know how it's only 50-50 voted as good. 83 plus player pick is upvoted great. 80 plus player pick is upvoted great. Like, somebody explain to me how this Chengiz Undere is downvoted. Somebody explain it. It's an 81 rated squad with an inform. It's likely to get a plus one upgrade as well. And it's not a terrible card. Don't get me wrong. It's not a great card or anything. But for this is exactly the sort of thing you'd expect for an 81 rated squad, right? Good pace with the engine. Great dribbling. Good passing. Decent shooting. And again, it's the sort of thing where it's like, if you're a Fenner fan, right? You've got Jekko. That's a decent card. You've got the Kent card. That's a decent card. You've got Batshuayi, who I actually do believe fit into a couple of really good Evos. Yeah, he did. This is the five-star, five-star one, right? Yeah, look at that. Five-star, five-star Batshuayi with these stats as grand. You've got 
Fred in form. Yuxek, maybe. Paddy Oglu, who's also been eligible for a, a couple of uh, evolutions as well. On top of all of the other Evos that you obviously could have had. I guess these are like active Evos, right? Look at that unleashing potential and down the right side on Caddy Oglu. And you've got a banging card there as well. Like with a Shadow Chem style on him, that's nice. Like if you're, if you're a Fenner fan, this Chengi Zundere is A, banging and B, a banging price. And if you're not a Fenner fan, I still think I would 1 million percent put in an inform and an 81 rated squad and either put the 88 into the exchange or wait until it becomes an 89 and then put that into the exchange because an 89 rated player for the exchange for they still haven't got a price point here let's go to here uh for they haven't got a price point in either um what is probably going to be it's probably going to read as about like 35k but honestly it's nowhere near that but i mean not a lot of content today a little bit underwhelming if we're being per perfectly honest. I really like the player picks and the upgrades. I really like the young Chengis on there. It's a shame there's no evolution, but that is going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.